what's up mga katoto? In this episode, I am going to talk about formulating diets using personal square method when there are fixed amount of one or more ingredients. For example, you need to formulate a broiler starter diet with 22% CP using corn and soybean meal and a fixed amount of fish meal at 3% and 4% of premium. The first step is to determine the total amount of ingredients with the fixed amount. So we will write down fish meal with the amount of 3% and premix with 4% inclusion. Get the sum of these two ingredients and you will get 7%. Then subtract 7% from 100 to get 92. 93 is, combined, is the combined amount of the remaining ingredients, which in our example represents corn and soybean meal. For step number 3, we will now determine the CP contribution of the fixed ingredients. Since the premix, which is commonly composed of vitamins and microminerals along with other feed additives, don't have a protein component, we will only calculate the CP contribution of fish meal. So 3% of fish meal with 60% CP content would contribute 1.8% food protein. In step number 4, we will subtract the CP contribution of fish meal to the required CP which is 22% as mentioned earlier. So 22 minus 1.8 will give you 20.2% CP. This is the amount of protein that must be supplied by the combination of corn and soybean meal. But since 20.2% CP is the remaining amount of protein for a 100% mixture, we need to express this in terms of the remaining 93% which is basically the combination of corn and soybean meal. To do that, we need to divide 20.2 by 93 and multiply it well with 100 to get 21.72%. So in step number 6, we will proceed to calculate the amount of corn and soybean meal using the person square. If you have watched the first two episodes, you probably know already how to do this. So calculating, and uh, as we can see here in our example, we would need 56.77% of corn and 36.23% of soybean meal. That's a total of 93%. Okay? So the only difference that you can uh, see here from the, the ones I've shown you in my first two episodes is that we multiplied the quotient between the parts of corn and the total amount or the total parts by 93% instead of 100. Why is, it, why is it so? Because we are only getting the ratio of corn and soya from the remaining 93%. Okay, so, so we multiply it with 93. And the resulting product is 56.77% for corn and 36.23% for soybean meal. So the last step is to summarize our solution. We have 56.77% corn, 36.23% soybean meal, 3% fish meal, and 4% uh, premix, which is total of 100%. Now to check if our calculation is correct, 
you simply multiply the amount of each ingredient by their respective typical price. So, so corn, 56.77%, multiply it with 7.5% CP, would give you 4.26% CP. So do the same for all the ingredients and sum it up, you will get 22% CP. So we have already shown you how to formulate a diet using uh, a fixed amount of ingredients. So our next video, in the, in the next video, I will be showing you how to do uh, formulations for ruminants using uh, Christian Square method. So if you enjoy and learn something from this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.